how to use the ATLOOKUP function in Google Sheets to solve a real problem and to automate tasks. Here, I have a sales report with information such as the date, product, cost, price, and gross profit. I want to calculate the gross profit, but the problem is I need to have the price minus the cost. And as you can see here, the price is blank. So I need to fill in with the correct information for all the different products that I have, such as item 07, 06, 010, 02, and on and on. Each one of those items has a specific price. And I can check this price here in the list where I have all those products, the quantity in stock, the shelf location, the cost, and also the price. I need to take the price and input here in the report. But um, imagine if I do it manually, row by row, item by item, it's going to take me a long time. So I can use instead the age lookup function to save a lot of time. Equal sign, the first thing that I need, equal sign, age lookup function. Let me click in this function. Now I need to input here three different arguments, third key, range, and index. Let's start with the first one that is the third key. What is the thing that I want to look for? So I want to look for the item 07 and then item 06 item 10, item 2, item 4, and on and on. I want to look up for the item and then bring it back as a result, the corresponding price. Joma, now what is the range that I want to use to look up for my product? The range is right here in the list. So let me change the sheet. And uh, as I want to look up for the product, I need to select the entire first row or actually just the range. So you can either select a specific range or you can select the entire row. It doesn't matter. Here, I'm going to select the entire row because it's easier. And then I also need to select everything that I'm going to use. But uh, because I have the first thing that I'm going to use, that is the product as the first row, and the price is the last row here in my spreadsheet, I actually need to select everything because it's starting from the product and goes all the way down to the price. So I want to click over the number one and then click, hold and drag up to the row, the fifth row. And then I'm going to press here the F4 key because it's very important to lock this reference. And you know that uh, the, locks, the, the reference is locked when you have the dollar sign before the number and before the number five here. And uh, it indicates that it doesn't matter if you click hold and drag double function in Google Sheets, the reference is going to stay in the same position. And this is what I need. Come on again. Now the index. The index is basically the row that I want to bring it back as the result. And uh, I'm looking for the price of each one of the specific products that I have. The price is in the row number five. But uh, the right way to check and to know the number of the row is just counting the range. As I select this range right here, the product is the first row, the quantity in stock is the second one, and the price is the fifth. So I need to input the number five and close parentheses, close parentheses, and then press enter. And here we got the correct result. As you can see, uh, the Google Sheet is already suggest for me the out of view. You can click OK, but uh, let's say you didn't have this tag that is appearing here for me. So let me close this one. And to make sure all the rows contain the same function, you can click in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold and drag down or double click one, two. OK, that's it. I have the cost, the price and now the gross profit. So this is how we can use the HLOOKUP function in Google Sheets to solve a real and practical problem and also to automate tasks. I hope this video can help you out and be mindful. We also have here in Google Sheets and also in Excel, VLOOKUP function, XLOOKUP function, LOOKUP function, index and match and of course the age lookup function as we saw here so if you want to see and learn more about google sheets or even excel check out my channel there is a lot of free videos with good stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there